Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 23 of the FIFA 20 My Player Career. We're currently with Galatasaray and we are at the end of the Turkish season. Uh, we've got a big game coming up. As you can see, we are against the unbeaten team right now in the league, Fenerbahce. This is in the Turkish Cup though, so uh, we can't really catch Fenerbahce at the top of the league, even if we do get the victory today. Uh, I believe this is actually the semi-finals of the Turk Kupasi. Uh, so we'll see how we get on. Hopefully we can get ourselves into the final. I believe if we can't catch Fenerbahce, then obviously this is going to be the last chance we do get to get some silverware after a disappointing European campaign with Galatasaray. Hopefully we can finish off the season on a high before, of course, we do head back to the Netherlands with Ajax. Uh, where, of course, as I mentioned in the last episode, we will be handing in a transfer request when we get back to Ajax. And then we'll see if any offers come in for the services of Kai, the young French left midfielder. And we're hoping, obviously, as I've said as well, that we're going to be trying to get ourselves into the English Premier League. Uh, that is where we want to take our next stage of our career. So fingers crossed, as I said, some offers come in for the services of Kai. And we do manage to make that move in the summer. Uh, but before all of that, let's concentrate on the final few games with Galatasaray then. As I said, we do try and hope uh, that we can finish on a high with some silverware. Uh, it's going to be a tough one, this one, against Fenerbahce. As you can see right now, still waiting for the first goal. 25 minutes played. And I have to say, it's been mostly Galatasaray, which is positive, of, of course. But we need to find the back of the net. That's a great ball through to Kai. He's going to cut inside. He does. Nice little turn there. Finds his teammate. Shoots. It was on target. But the goalkeeper dives and makes a cracking one-handed save there to keep the ball out of the net. And the score does remain nil-nil as that one's cleared out for a throw. So into the second half we go then. Here is Kai. Not sure what he's trying to do there. A bit of ball juggling as he was going forward. Galatasaray pa pa passing patiently, I'll say. Here is Kai again. Is he going to carry on and run himself? A bit of space opens up for him. Lays it off to his teammate. Surely this is going to be the first goal. It is not. Again, the goalkeeper in the right place at the right time. Making that vital save to keep the scores level at 0-0. Who's going to be breaking the deadlock? Uh, now, I don't know if this is a two-legged affair, the semi-finals of the cup. Or whether it will go to extra time or maybe even a replay. Um, I'm not sure how the Turk Kupasi actually works when it gets to the semi-final stage. So hopefully we don't need to worry about that too much. We want to get the job done here. Get the victory. If it is a two-legged affair, obviously it would be nice to get ourselves an away goal. Uh, but after an hour, Kai has seen the substitute sign up. And it is Ryan Babel who comes on in his place. Um, so let's, we need to check out the calendar actually to see if we manage to get the victory. Let's have a look. No, the semi-final game against Fenerbahce did end goalless, nil-nil then. And that gives us, what, five or six games remaining, depending on whether we can get through this semi-final. Uh, three games or four games remaining in the league. Can we catch Fenerbahce? As I said, they are running away with the title right now and still remain unbeaten in the league. Which, of course, is a great feat for them. Um, I'm hoping, obviously, they do drop points. I can't see it happening now. Uh, they may draw one or two, but it's still not going to be enough. Uh, we need them to lose a couple of games. Uh, but as I said, they are in absolutely fantastic form. It's been a tough season to um, chase them all the way through. And we've just failed, I think. We're not going to catch them at the end. But you never know what could happen. Stranger things have happened in football. Uh, but let's try and get this first game with a victory. Uh, as I said, even if we don't catch them in the league, we want to try and beat them in that semi-final of the cup. And then hopefully lift some silverware before we do head back to the Netherlands. But right now, seven minutes gone or eight minutes gone. And we have possession, looking to break the deadlock early on here. After not being able to score against Fenerbahce, here is Kai going all the way through. He goes for the shot. All he needed to do there is play it across the six-yard box. Um, I think he was hoping to either score or get the deflection straight into the path of his um, teammate. That cross comes in towards Kai, heads it, and it's just wide of the goal. Two good chances there for Galatasaray and for Kai. And um, yeah, it just did go wide. So very, very close. A good chance at least. And 10 minutes gone. Two great chances for Galatasaray. Hopefully, it's a sign of things to come. And um, hopefully, we can bang one into the back of that goal. Um, but we are approaching half time. Still goalless. And a little bit of defensive work to be done here by Galatasaray. That one does go out of play for a throw to the away team. And he's going to get the crossing. He does. It's going to be a free kick, though. 
And it's going to be booked as well. Baril. There we go. Yellow card for number 13, Jan Baril. Uh, so he's got to be careful then for the rest of this game. 5.1 match rating for Kai. So obviously Kai needs to improve. He's not really done much since the first 10 minutes of this match. Five minutes to go in the first half. Goalless. Kai's going to pick up that ball on that far side. Is he going to be able to go all the way through? He wasn't. So into the second period we go. We've got just over 20 minutes to find a winner. If we don't get the winner here... Um, I think that is going to be title for Fenerbahce confirmed. Kai needs to cross it in. He lays it off in the middle. A space opened up here for his teammate. He's missed the first shot, but there with the rebound, we do finally find the back of the net. One goal to nil, 17 minutes gone. And what an important goal. That may just be here for the home team. The fans obviously happy with that one, but he should have banged that one away. But it was a great save, but he couldn't keep out of the rebound and effort. He was running straight on. Into the path of that one, and boom, look at that, nicely placed there. Bottom corner, goalkeeper no chance, defender was nowhere. And that is the first goal of the game then. Eunice Belhanda scoring his 10th league goal of the season. So he's had a good season here for Gaia Tassarai as we do head into the final minute of injury time. And we just want that final whistle to blow. Uh, big important goal that one, giving us the three points, keeping us uh, with a slight chance of catching Fenerbahce at the top of the league. Uh, but anything can happen. We're hoping that they do drop points as, as we pick up these three points. Uh, but there we go. Final whistle blows. We've got one game remaining in today's episode. Hopefully it's going to be another three points, of course. Uh, but there we go. Let's have a quick look at the lead table. We are just three points behind Fenerbahce, but they do have a game in hand. And as you can see, they still remain unbeaten. We need them to lose that game in hand. Uh, and then hopefully we can get down to the final day of the season and lift the league title. But next up for Galatasaray is a tough one actually. Away from home taking on Besiktas. Let's see how this one goes. Besiktas in their white strip with the black trim. And obviously Galatasaray in the orange and red. So hopefully there's going to be more goals than the one that we crept in in the last 20 minutes of that last game. Uh, but as I said, it's going to be a tough one here against Fenerbahce. Uh, sorry, against Fenerbahce. Against Besiktas, sorry. Um, got Fenerbahce on the, on the mind because they're just running away with the title. And we're hoping that they do drop points in the final few games as Besiktas go all the way through here. The goalkeeper makes a good save after the defence was sleeping. Uh, but can we go on the counter-attack? We cannot. Besiktas keep possession. And they're still on the attack here. Five minutes later... Looking to get a second crossing. Cross does come in. The volley is there, but so too was the goalkeeper for Galatasaray. He keeps it out, throws it towards Kai. And now is the time to go forward. No, it is not because, again, Besiktas pressuring the midfield of Galatasaray. They're on the attack, pushing on that far side. What's he going to do here? He's going to cut inside. He's going to lay it off to his teammate. Again, that's a great ball. Shot comes in near post. And the first goal goes in. Eight and a half minutes gone. And it is, who is that? I have no idea. Uh, number 22, we know that much. We'll see who it is exactly in a second. Uh, but this little ball here was fantastic. Straight between, what, three defenders. And a first time uh, near post finish. Goalkeeper probably should have done better. But it is Adam Lalic or Lajic uh, to score his ninth league goal of the season. Giving Besiktas a one goal lead. And things need to change then. 3.7 match rating for Kai. As you can see there, he's probably been out of position quite a lot. But we can obviously rectify that if we can get an assist or a goal here. Lays it off in the middle. The shot is there. But the rebound falls straight into the path of Falcao. And Galatasaray do tie things up here. 22 minutes gone. It is now Besiktas 1, Galatasaray 1. And hopefully now we can push on and get ourselves in front for the first time in this match. Uh, good play there from Kai, he decided to cut it back, lays it off, the shot was blocked there by the goalkeeper and just inside this six yard box was Falcao to poach it in uh, to score his, let's have a look, 12th league goal of the season then for him. And he's had a good season, I'm hoping for more goals though towards the last few games of this league season. We're going to give him a target of what, 15 goals at the very least? Uh, let's see. What's happening here? It is Besiktas in possession, looking to get themselves back in front, and they do. Again, the goalkeeper is beaten at that near post. Should have been doing better from there, but 
Besiktas, great ball through, and it is Burak who puts it into the back of the net. So Besiktas go in front for the second time in today's game. And what a first half this is proving to be. Great finish. Uh, poor positional play there from the defenders. But Burak Yilmaz, he gets his 13th league goal of the season. Approaching half hour, and Besiktas are pushing forward, trying to get themselves a third. Uh, but good tackle there from Kai. And Galatasaray have a chance here to counter-attack. Charges through. Two defenders, he's taken down, surely that's got to be a red card ref, he was the last man, otherwise Kai would have been banging that one in to tie things up here for Gaitasarai. Um Now I don't know if that's going to be an actual free kick or a penalty, we'll have to have a look at the replay to see whether it was inside the area or outside here is a replay, well you've got to say it's just outside isn't it, the, the tackle followed into the box but... Um, it is going to be a free kick. Uh, the red card has been brandished then by the referee. So Besiktas leading two goals to one are now down to 10 men. Maybe this is a good sign and hopefully we can get ourselves back onto level terms. Uh, the free kick was poor but we still do have possession. Here is Kai looking to get the cross in or is he? No, he loses possession himself. And we do lose possession. So we need to press on. We've got some defensive work from this corner. Can we go on the counter-attack? Nicely cleared. Kai's going to carry on his run. And, oh, there's nobody there. He is one-on-one -on -one with a keeper. Falcao plays Kai through. He's on a yellow card himself. A bit of an extra touch there. And I thought for a second the goalkeeper was going to get it. But fantastic composure there from Kai. And he does level things up then. 36 and a half minutes gone. It is now Besiktas 2, Galatasaray 2. And what a first half this has been. We've had four goals. We've had a sending off, and look at this, great composure. He did take a little bit of a heavy touch there, but that forced the goalkeeper to come out, which probably opened up a little bit of space for himself, and Kai was there to score his 16th league goal of the season. And now we have five minutes remaining in this first half. Surely there's not going to be more drama in this first period, but it does look like Galatasaray are going to be pushing forward here. Good play there, good skill there from Kai. Played inside there for Falcao. Good patient play here from Galatasaray, just waiting for the space to open. And he opens up some space for himself, just kite lazy off back, opens up. Oh, what a goal, great individual play there from Kai. He gets his 17th league goal of the season. And with one minute to play, Galatasaray find themselves in front for the first time in today's match. And that red card really has changed things in this game. And we're still in the first half, guys. Five goals, a red card, great individual play there as well. And the goalkeeper not happy, but the defence should have done better, to be honest. He did a turn there, he lays it off back, rolls it backwards, and found, uh, opens up the space for himself to just smash it in, finesses it into that uh, near corner. Uh, as I said, that is his 17th league goal of the season. And we are approaching the end of the game, and after a busy, dramatic first half, it's been a pretty um, lame, quiet second period. Uh, maybe we can end it with a uh, final goal. Kite with a nice little interception goes for the shot. Goalkeeper is going to get there. He actually punches it clear. And we are going to get a second attempt here. Kai lays it off this time. Lays it off through. And the goalkeeper rushed out and does make the vital touch to get it clear for a corner. But that is going to be the end of Kai's game. Hopefully, with just over 10 minutes to play, Galatasaray do hold on here for the three points. It will be disappointing if we do um, concede, but let's have a look. Oh, we actually scored another. So four goals to two, we win. We've got three games remaining in the league. No, two games remaining in the league, sorry, and one in the semi-final, which could be um, the last one in that one. Uh, but as you can see, Fenerbahce still unbeaten, six points and a big goal difference. So I think they are going to be crowned the champions in the next episode. But thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already. And see you in the next one. Peace.